Hey guys, it's Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we answer the question, does eye appeal affect the value of your coin? Let's get this video started. So in today's episode, we wanna talk about eye appeal because it's an invaluable and important part of a numismatist kind of walk with coins because it allows them to understand there is a huge value or a huge deficit in a coin that you can buy based on its eye appeal. And in today's video, we wanna talk about the three things that I've always talked about, but it's more of a refresher video. Um, we talk about beautifully toned coins, we talk about blast white coins, and then we talk about ugly toned coins. What effects do they have? What coins have we sold that are beautifully toned? And can it help you in your walk? Or if you're wanting to start dealing coins, how can it almost help you market your coins better to collectors or other dealers that want to pick up your coins and put them in their showcase? So in a basic sense, or in its purest form, eye appeal is basically if you're using your naked eye to determine if a coin is pleasurable to look at or pleasurable if you were to keep in your collection and share with your friends. And so we wanna talk about beautifully toned examples today because the question is when you see a beautifully toned coin like this one, does the colors pop out at you? Um, if it was in your hand and you could afford it, would you buy this coin? And so uh, when you're taking a look at this coin that we got from uh, Ohio Estates a few weeks ago, we shared it in their episode of their coin shop review. Uh, this coin stood out to me because the colors were very beautiful. The colors also demanded a premium. And once you know that this color demanded a premium in the marketplace, you're able to use this coin to sell it to a client that will pay more than what we got it from at Ohio Estates. And so there's a thing that I want to address also with toning, which people have always commented in every one of these videos that we've made about it. Um, they say that, oh, toning is damage or it doesn't have value, right? And it's like saying LeBron James doesn't have any value because I wouldn't pay for it personally right? And that's not really a good argument because the truth of the matter is that tone coins have value. And the way that we know that is because there is a market out there for them where people pulled money out of their wallet, they put their credit card into an auction site, and they purchased a coin for well over gray sheet, double, triple, 10 times gray sheet because of the eye appeal of the coin. And so, like I said, if you are the person that says toning is damaged, that can be your opinion but it doesn't make it a fact that they don't have any value. Uh, a thing that I wanna highlight about the coin that we share with you, the Tone coin, is that uh, we bought this coin, I think, for 925. So on its face, if you look at it, it's a Min State 64 example. I mean, if it was a blast white coin, it might've sold for $110 on a good day, okay? So we paid $925 for this coin, and we ended up selling it for 1400. So I don't wanna go around and, and tell people everybody what I paid for a coin and what I've sold it for but it's really just to drive home the fact that there is a market there is people willing to pay a premium for coins that have eye appeal that are beautifully toned and that's just something that once you start to move into the space a little bit more you'll start to acquire clients that enjoy beautifully toned coins and you'll end up receiving higher margins than you normally would for other coins and the best way to actually study this is looking at stacks is looking at Legends Auctions, has really beautifully toned coins that have gone for a high price. You could also go to Great Collections. They have a beautiful auction archive of every coin that's ever sold on their website, and that will give you guys a great perspective also. But there is a nice demand in toned coins. The next group that we want to talk about is ugly toned coins. And the reason being is because, once again, we're trying to talk about the raw sense of the form of eye appeal. Is it attractive to your eye? Does it make you want to buy it? Is it something that you've never seen before? Would somebody else, the next owner, love it? Right? And so I'm going to show you guys a coin right now. This is a 1928S Walking Liberty half dollar. Okay? So on its face, would you pay double gray sheet for this coin? Would you pay triple gray sheet for this coin? Would you pay 10 times gray sheet for this coin? It's got toning, man. Don't you want it? It's beautiful. Well, if you use your naked eye, 
you would say this is one of the most ugliest coins I've ever seen. It almost looks like it's on the brink of environmental damage. So when you look at a coin, you're under, able to understand its eye appeal when you compare it to something that's more beautifully toned, something that makes your mind go, wow, I would love to have this coin in my collection if I could afford it. And so when you're taking a look at coins like this, or if you're taking a look at Standing Liberty quarters like this one, it's dingy, it lacks luster, the toning doesn't really add anything that would make your mind go, wow, that's amazing to the coin, and thus you wouldn't want it. You would want one that's more blast white, that's more attractive, and you know, or one that's more beautifully toned. So just understanding that when you buy ugly toned coins, there's gonna be a kind of a more narrow market for it because people really value eye appeal more than they value the price of a coin sometimes. And when I look, take a look at this 1928S, I thought I paid a great price for it. I paid like $20 back a bid or 25 bucks back a bid. And then I walk around the show and I go, hey, would you buy this coin for bid? What do you think their answer was? I mean, coins have sold for double bid in this grade. What do you think their answer was? Answer was no, they wouldn't. And the reason being is because when the collector picks this coin up at their case, they go, man, that's an ugly coin and I would never want it in my collection. And so this coin is just gonna sit in our box until one day I make $5 on it. So understanding why beautifully toned coins sell for a great margin and who you should reach out to sell those to, but also knowing if you buy an ugly toned coin that's dark and you go try to market it to somebody, you could end up losing your butt on it. And so these two coins are a great, great example of why you shouldn't buy ugly toned coins and rather avoid them because they don't have the demand and they don't have the premium that beautifully toned or blast white coins have. So the last group that we wanna talk about in today's video, which is really the backbone of numismatics is blast white coins. So ever since the inception of the coin that you have in your collection, it's been held in certain places, right? It's been either put in an envelope or it was put in a bank bag or it was kept so it, the surfaces would remain blast white and beautiful to you when you receive them in hand. And so the reason why I call this the backbone of numismatics is because for a long time, I mean, for most of coin collecting, people that saw toning on coins did view it as damage. Because why? That, you know, it was tarnishing, but also there was no premium. No one was willing to pay a premium for those. But over the past, I would say five, 10 years, those premiums have shot up to crazy lengths, crazy heights, okay? And so I wanted to talk a little bit about blast white coins because there is a good premium in those also. Not as strong as kind of the hype coins right now, that which are tone coins. And so we just talked about an SOQ that was kind of dingy, unappealing, ugly. And then we're gonna talk about the same year, but a different coin. This is a 1930 SOQ. It's great at Min State 64 full head by PCGS. Overall, the coin's very flashy. The coin is pleasing to the eye. Um, if I were to want to start a set of SOQs that are blast white, I might pick up one like this, just because it's nice and attractive. And so, when you're talking about people that want to collect, they they don't want to collect toned coins or tarnished coins or ugly toned coins. They want to collect coins in pristine condition, like they were just made yesterday. And so, blast white coins really do that for people. And so. When you're taking a look at you know coins that may have a little bit of rim toning that is unattractive, or if you take a look at a coin that, that's full obverse is kind of black like this one that we talked about earlier, uh, it turns people away. But when you see a coin that is like this 1883cc, great mint state 64 by PCGS, not one milk spot on the coin, no haze on the coin, just a really beautiful example. And so when I'm trying to separate myself from the crowd in terms of inventory, you don't want those ugly toned coins. You want those beautifully blast white or beautifully toned coins. And so I found this one and I paid a premium for it because I said one day someone that loves blast white coins is going to want this coin in their collection because there's so many out there that are not beautifully blast white and there is still a pretty big demand for them. And so I thought it was a nice coin. 
and I think blast white coins have, like I said, they're the main pillar of the numismatic space, and they will continue to be. And so, another coin I want to talk about also, which is not only you know silver coins, but there there is a, an Indian head sent here from 1859. We bought this one. It's Mint State 64 CAC. The surfaces are nice, original, beautiful example. It has really nice, strong luster to the coin. That's another thing that blast white coins have that kind of pop out to you and say, wow, I would love to buy this coin because it has that strong luster. Nothing's breaking that luster. Nothing's breaking the, the surfaces of the coin, if you will. And so when I bought this coin, I was like, man, someone's going to love this because of the luster of the coin, because of its originality. And that's why CAC approved it. And so I hope this video was a little bit more of a understanding and helpful to you that if you do your research with auction comps, if you learn to not buy those ugly toned coins, but rather buy beautifully toned or beautifully blast white coins, you're going to end up seeing those margins maybe in your business slightly increase or massively explode because you're willing to look for those clients that are looking for those tougher coins to get with the eye appeal that they want. And so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on these three groups. Uh, which ones have you fallen into or which ones have you benefited from? Uh, and subscribe if you're new because we're coming out with videos every single week talking about different things with coin dealing or collecting or maybe some coin shows or coin shop reviews. So make sure to stay tuned for that. We will see you guys in the next video.